there are two types of diabetic retinopathy, which progresses in four stages. The two types of diabetic retinopathy are non-proliferative and proliferative. Non-proliferative refers to the early stages of the disease, while proliferative is an advanced form of the disease. Stage 1, mild non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. This is the earliest stage of diabetic retinopathy, characterized by tiny swellings, bulges, in the blood vessels of the retina. These areas of swelling are known as microaneurysms. These microaneurysms can cause small amounts of fluid to leak into the retina, triggering swelling of the macula, the back of the retina. Despite this, there are usually no clear symptoms, indicating there is a problem. Stage 2, Moderate Non-Proliferative Diabetic Retinopathy At this stage, the tiny blood vessels further swell up, blocking blood flow to the retina and preventing proper nourishment. This stage will only cause noticeable signs if there is a buildup of blood and other fluids in the macula, causing vision to become blurry. Stage 3, Severe Non-Proliferative Diabetic Retinopathy during this stage, a larger section of blood vessels in the retina becomes blocked, causing a significant decrease in blood flow to this area. The lack of blood triggers a signal to the body to start growing new blood vessels in the retina. These new blood vessels are extremely thin and fragile and cause retinal swelling, resulting in noticeably blurry vision, dark spots, and even patches of vision loss. If these vessels leak into the macula, sudden and permanent vision loss may occur. At this stage, there is a high chance of irreversible vision loss. Stage 4, Proliferative Diabetic Retinopathy At this advanced stage of the disease, new blood vessels continue to grow in the retina. These blood vessels, which are thin and weak, and prone to bleeding, cause scar tissue to form inside the eye. This scar tissue can pull the retina away from the back of your eye, causing retinal detachment. A detached retina typically results in blurriness, reduced field of vision, and even permanent blindness. Regular eye exams are important because, by the time noticeable symptoms appear, vision loss may have occurred. The sooner your eye doctor can diagnose diabetic retinopathy, the sooner you can take steps to slow its progression.